Hey guys, welcome back to Top Dog Tips. My name is Samantha and I'm here with another product review for you guys. So let's talk about the Easy Dog Car Seat Restraint. Um, now the nice thing about this is that it can be um, used as just a harness and this is fitted for our boxer Chloe um, so it can be just an everyday harness there is a D-ring here on the back that you can use to clip onto a leash and then when you go to get in the car there's this attachment that just clips onto the D-ring and you feed the seatbelt through here I'll show you how to do that in a little while um, out in my car but you feed the seatbelt through here and then your dog is restrained in the event of um, an accident or an impact in your vehicle. So it's fairly easy to put on. Um, you have these two buckles on the side here and this is a step in harness. So what you're going to do is put it in front of your dog. You're going to make him step in one paw through this side and then you bring it up and around and this buckle in the front is going to be in front of his front leg and you can buckle that. And this buckle in the back is going to be behind the front leg and you buckle that so his shoulder is going to fit right in here in the middle. And then you have the little Easy Dog logo and the D-ring that, that will be right in between his shoulder blades on the back. And then you have the, um, the padded chest plate here that, that'll sit right on his chest. In the event of an accident in the vehicle, that's going to help distribute the impact of the crash across his chest and not um, his neck or down near his belly where there's going to be a lot of injury done very quickly and uh, could be fatal. So. Um, this harness comes in multiple sizes. I got the large size again. Uh, we have a boxer. So um, when you order a harness like this one, Easy Dog requires you to me measure your dog's girth and your dog's um, neck. So obviously the neck is, is where a collar would fit. The girth is his, the widest point of his chest. So you're going to go from um, the top of his shoulders all the way around the widest point of his chest and back up around and that's the girth. And that's how you're going to figure out which size your dog would need. Now when you're measuring for a harness, any kind of harness, uh, that's it's really, really important that you stick to those measurements from each individual company because every company measures differently and you want to make sure that the harness is going to fit your dog correctly. If it's too loose, your dog can fall out of it or slip out of it if you're walking him. Um, your dog, if it's too tight, it will chafe and it can cause some lesions and some problems that way. So you want to make sure that you follow those measurement instructions and it's different for every company. So um, do that. Um, Easy Dog also has weight and that's just kind of an estimate that if your dog weighs between like say 30 and 60 pounds, um, they might need the medium size harness or whatever it might be. So, um, you know, you need to take all those factors into consideration and choose the right harness for your dog. This one is available in multiple sizes. You can get um, extra small through 2XL. So that's really great. Um, it's nice to have a lot of options because there are so many different size dogs and the price is really affordable. Um, you can get the extra small to medium for $27 and then the large, extra large and 2XL are $30. So very affordable for a harness. Um, definitely on the cheaper side of car restraint harnesses for your dog um, and certainly this is more of an everyday harness with the attachment for the car. Um, so it is a, on the cheaper end of, of the dog car harnesses or car seatbelt harnesses. Um, it's available in blue, red, chocolate, black, orange, and purple. Um, they also had some different like mixed colors like uh, they had green and pink camo they had a like a pink and brown striped and then a pink and purple striped um, and those the ones that have additional colors are five dollars more so depending on your the size that you choose add five dollars for those different colors um, but you, you know it's nice to have different options to match your dog's style or your style or whatever so um, lots of different options with the easy dog which is really nice and some of the other um, options that are out there don't have as many different colors or different variations and sizes so that's nice. Um, the chest plate is made of EVA foam and it's ergonomically designed to conform to your dog's chest so you can see that it's wider up here and then kind of gets skinny and then it gets a little bit wider but not much um, at the bottom and the reason for that is because the chest where the rib cage is is obviously going to um, be able to take more of the impact than as it gets down um, lower you know you want to lessen that impact so it's ergonomically designed 
to conform to your dog's chest that adds in comfort and it also adds in safety in the event that um, even if you're just walking your dog if he pulls it's going to be more comfortable for him um, and of course if you're in a vehicle and there is some kind of collision um, that's going to be safer you can see the stitching it probably looks like kind of gray or white to you but um, that's reflective stitching so uh, that's really nice one if you walk your dog early in the morning or late at night it's also really nice because a lot of times when there's a car accident and there's a dog involved if a window breaks or a door flies open or um, say that you are um, you're getting out of the vehicle to give the other person your insurance information and speak with them, whatever the case may be. If your dog is not restrained, a lot of times it's very, very common that dogs escape and because they're in an area that they don't know, they end up being lost. So this allows you to see your dog. Um, if you were in an accident early in the morning or late at night, your dog's going to be out and be visible um, and hopefully you will be able to find him very quickly with that. Um, but if he's restrained, if you use this little piece here and snap it in and buckle him into your car. Hopefully he will not be able to get out um, in the event that the seatbelt breaks or he's able to chew through the seatbelt or something like that. You do have a reflective stitching so that's nice um, there too. Hey guys, so really quickly before we go ahead and jump in the car, I just want to show you how easy the Easy Dog harness is to put on. Hey Chloe, I know you guys are playing. Um, this is a, again a step in harness, so uh, it's a little bit more difficult than an over the head harness, but um, it's pretty simple. Go on Sadie, Sadie go. Okay, so you're just going to put it underneath your dog and he needs to step into this side. And then the chest plate you're going to see is going to line up with his chest there. You want the um, the strap in the back to be behind the front leg, the strap in the front to be in front of the front leg, and then um, you'll see the little Dex Dog symbol and the two clasps. You want that to kind of be uh, right in the middle of his shoulder blades. Now, I've already fit this to fit Chloe. Uh, we've already adjusted it, but you can see the adjustment point there, and you can tighten that and loosen it as uh, need be. And then... There is one on the front as well. Chloe's not going to be very helpful, but there's one on the front as well, and you can tighten that as need be. Um, so that chest strap just stays on the front of the, your dog, um, and then you have the D-ring on the back. I have this part. This is the seat belt attachment, so you can just clip that on the D-ring, and your dog's ready to get in the car. Uh, so I will load Chloe up, and then I'll show you how it works in the vehicle. It's really simple. Okay, guys, so here's Chloe in the car with her easy dog harness. And um, you can see the D-ring right here. I'm going to go ahead and clip. This is the seatbelt attachment that I'm going to clip to it. And what you want to do is take your seatbelt like you normally would and take both sides of it and put them through that seatbelt holder. And then you're going to buckle in your dog and, of course, Chloe is actually sitting on the buckle that um, is used for that side of the car. So I'm just going to go and clip it in here so you can see how it works. And remember that this swivels. So if your dog tries to move or the seatbelt tangles or anything like that, um, you know, it's not going to like twist up the harness or anything. So Chloe, you're being such a good girl. What a good sport. Um, so this is going to act just like your regular seatbelt would if you had it. If you get in a, in a crash and it pulls out really quickly, it's going to lock. So if you get in an accident, the harness is going to be secured by the seatbelt. And again, remember it has that nice big chest plate. So that impact is going to be dispersed over the chest and your dog's not going to go flying into the front seat or, you know, up into the, the front part of the car. Um, they're not going to be jostled all around in the back seat either. So, um, you know, it's definitely a good safety precaution. So um, this is, again, the harness from Easy Dog. If you guys have any questions about that, um, go ahead and send me an email. My email is samantha at topdogtips.com. You can find us on our website, which is just topdogtips.com, and uh, leave any comments or suggestions there as well. You can, if you're watching this on YouTube, of course, subscribe to our channel to see all the latest uh, videos that I post. And um, if you are not on our YouTube channel, you can find us on social media. We're on Facebook, Twitter, Google+. Uh, we're on Instagram and Pinterest, so we share all kinds of great stuff. Um, everything dog-related and, of course, the product reviews and the how-tos, the product comparisons, the recipes, and all that stuff that gets shared on our website is shared via our YouTube channel and our social media channels. So uh, make sure you subscribe there or give us a like on Facebook, things like that, to stay up to date with that. So um, I'm going to unbuckle Chloe, and I will see you guys next time with another great product review. Thanks for tuning in.